I told y'all, Caliente was coming back to Texas. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing for a beautiful mid-March ride. It's 60 degrees out today and a pretty nice day, I must say. Much less windy. It's not hardly windy at all. In fact, I'm, I'm not sure there's any wind. Maybe just a little breeze, but that makes a big difference enjoying the ride. And man, I've got so much good news to share, and I, I can't wait to tell you, if you don't know it already, uh, Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel has just exceeded 14,000 subscribers. Man, I want to thank all of you guys for subscribing and for all your participation and sharing the channel with your friends. It's just very exciting. 15,000 has been a goal of mine for some time and we're on our way. We now have over 270 videos on our YouTube channel. Guess 271 after this one. There's more excitement than that. Yesterday, I had the pleasure of riding with Chris Caliente. And today, out here in Fort Worth, hanging out with the one, the only, the man who needs no introduction. Cruise Man Garage. With a cruise man. Out on the gold wing. Out on the gold wing. That's my best impression I can do of him. I'll let him do it. He does it better than I do. But Chris Caliente was back in Texas. He was in Fort Worth, and I rode over and met he and Brother Cowboy. And Jason Brown was with him. I think he rode up from Memphis with uh, Chris. And they apparently rode through some pretty rough weather, lots of wind and rain and probably cool weather as well. And a friend of mine, Don Smith, Don, I should say Bubba Smith. I didn't know that was his uh, nickname, but it is. His handle is Bubba. So we had Brother Cowboy. The Waco Kid. Yeah! <laughs> Cruise Man, Chris Caliente, Jason, and Bubba. And Bubba and I were the only two on 2018 Gold Wings. Everybody else is on 2017s or earlier. I think Chris has a 2016. You probably recognize it. It's, uh, he's got a very popular YouTube channel, does a lot of motor vlogs. And uh, has all the multiple camera angles where you can see him and see what he's looking at and see behind him, see his trailer behind him. It's pretty cool. But we all headed out from his hotel and we um, rode up uh, 820 there in Fort Worth to Cycle Gear in Euless, Texas. And I think uh, Brother Cowboy bought some heated gear. Hope I'm not giving anything away there. I don't know if his wife knew about that. But he bought some heated gear, and Don and I bought a pair of gloves each, and I'm not sure what everybody else bought, but after that, we all went to North Main Barbecue in Euless, Texas, and had a really good lunch, and just had a really great time visiting, and uh, Chris came up last summer, and we had a chance to meet in person for the first time. And so uh, this is kind of our second chance to get together and talk, and I think he's got me convinced I need to ride the bike out to Memphis and uh, let him show me that area. So anyway, you check out his videos on his channel. I'll put the link down below, and I'll put it on the video where you can 
get to his uh, channel. Uh, he also has, he is the president of the uh, Chris Caliente, I think this is what it's called, Chris Caliente Goldwing Riders Group. And uh, you might want to check that out as well. But we just had a great time. Good food, good conversation, good fellowship. Really enjoyed it. So today I was going to talk to you about battery tenders. I was going to talk to you about some ideas on installing them on your 2018 or any Goldwing for that matter. And if you really need one or not. But I think I'll save that for the next mode of vlog. So you have that to look forward to. We'll be talking about battery tenders. But since uh, we had our little ride yesterday, I thought I'd talk about that instead. And I want to remind you once again, if you like these videos and you like these motor vlogs, please take a, click, a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. And we've been coming out with quite a few new videos recently. Also, feel free to share this video with your friends and through your social media or email it to your friends, links. The more the merrier. And we also appreciate those thumbs up. And welcome your comments, whatever comments you have. Please put, put them in the comments down below. Now, I'm making just another boring run to my post office because I have to ship some stuff back to SoCal Motor Gear. So it's not like you're seeing any exciting uh, riding or scenery or anything like that. It's the same, same thing I did on my last ride. But it's more about the conversation than it is, you know, where I'm headed. And I want to tell you about some new videos we put up on YouTube recently. I did my first safety video, rider safety, and I'm hoping this will become a series. I'm hoping to see how popular this subject is. You know, there's a lot of good motorcycle safety videos out there on the internet or on YouTube, um, and some of them are really good. But I don't think it ever hurts to have too much information when it comes to rider safety. And for my first video, I chose the subject of talking about the importance of wearing boots and gloves wearing hand and foot protection and I've got several other series I want to pursue in this uh, or se several other episodes I want to pursue in this series so uh, we'll be talking about a lot of different gear we'll be talking about riding techniques and just things in general to allow you to enjoy the sport of riding and still be safe now, some of you have heard me talk about the uh, 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos, and those were released on January 1. First of the year, we released those videos. And since that release, we have added 10 additional videos to the series and more on the way. And we've also updated several of the videos with new information. So we uh, saw some things that uh, some of you commented, emailed me, things that maybe were left out of a video that you thought were important to see. So went back and reshot some scenes, re-edited and uploaded new versions of those videos. It opens the door for me to remind you once again, we have a spring riding special because now springtime, it's starting to get warm. It's 60 degrees today. It's only going to get warmer from here on out. So you're going to be riding your bikes. And now is the time to get your bike in shape for spring riding. You want to make sure you get that oil change fresh. Maybe check your brake pads, your brake fluids, all your fluids, and just general maintenance tips and that's what these videos will help you do so what we decided to do is have a spring promotion and uh, basically we're offering you 20 percent off right now on the purchase of the goldwing maintenance videos all you have to do is remember to use the word spring when you check out at vimeo.com and this promotion is good for the 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance videos or the 2001 to 2017 maintenance videos. 
So we'll put the links in the description down below if you're interested in that. Check it out. Now some of you may be wondering why did I not do my own moto vlog during our group ride yesterday and I'll tell you why. First of all, I was Chris Caliente's guest so he does his own moto vlogs and he's got his uh, Cena headsets set up to where we can all talk to each other and he can record all of that for his moto vlog. I don't have mine set up to do that. And also, I was kind of the lead dog, so I had my GPS sending me navigation instructions through my headset and at the same time could hear all four other riders talking uh, through their headset. So it was so much distraction and so much noise, there was no way for me to really uh, uh, narrate my own moto vlog while we were riding so I thought it would be best just to do my own and then insert some clips uh, from Chris's moto vlog and some of his video and also uh, Don uh, Bubba Smith uh, was recording some 360 degree video so uh, I thought I might try to include some of that I've never edited 360 degree video but it's pretty cool because he had the camera mounted to his windshield and he could literally see 360 or the camera can see 360 degrees around it's pretty cool so I'm gonna pull into Kroger here I've got to do a little shopping and next time on cruise man's motor vlogs we're gonna talk about you know what we're gonna talk about the battery tender do you need a battery tender I don't know we're gonna find out on the next cruise man's motor vlog